What's up, me and Eddie here. We're going to the Kirkwood Toy Show today. Gonna have some fun, gonna see what we can find. Um, I'm not actually looking for video games for once. I'm looking for toys and shelf fillers to go up and decorate the game room. What are you looking for? Oh, all kinds of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff that I'm looking for. I got a bunch of toy collections that need to be finished. So, pops, hot toys, we're gonna see what we're gonna find. All right. See what we find. We'll get back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So as you see, we are now inside the Kirkwood Toy Show. This is Ed's first time to this, and I wanted to say before this, um, this was filmed in August. I think August 28th. And yes, it's been a couple months, and there is another Kirkwood Toy Show out this weekend. So that's why I wanted to push this out. Um, I'm also going to push out a couple other things that me, Ed, and Tim have all been to here recently. Yeah, you know, I just took a step back, but let's check it out. You know, this vendor is always here. He's got a bunch of old school um, toys, loose. Um, you can find some things there. Um, I, I see him at Toy Man and at the Toy Show, so he's always around. Um, I've bought a lot of my loose turtles off of him for good deals. This is an overview of his stuff. Um, but like I said, you guys have got to, if you guys are here in Missouri, you're ever around, you like toys, you like video games, you like collectibles, comics, check out these cons. These things are nice. And $5 to get in an hour early or $2 after the first hour. Ed's huge Power Ranger nut. I was showing him that there. He, he was um, like, I don't even know if I got that. He's just looking at it. He, he's just amazed at all these old school toys. But yeah, I mean, eh, he sees something else. He's like, then at that point, um, I think I saw some stuff that I bought. Um, I, it's hard to remember. It's been almost three months since we've been to this. Oh, nope. Here I go. I'm looking at a Yoshi, probably for April. And I think I'm looking at a, that Sonic there. But... Yep, handed Ed the camera. You guys go. You guys actually get to see me. I, I don't even remember what I paid for him. But I got April, that little tiny yellow Yoshi. Why I got the Sonic. You guys will see this. Me and Ed passed the um, camera back and forth quite a bit. So, I mean, yeah, it's to be expected. Look at that Buzz and Woody up there. That's a nice set. Too bad Buzz doesn't have his hat. I think I bought my... No, I bought... I got a Mario car, car, car like this. Right up here behind... In front of me. Bought that at the Goodwill. Paid like two bucks for it. Um, I need to make a video about the Goodwills. Goodwills right now suck. Um, Goodwills are not good to go to anymore. Especially now that they're getting ready to start their all online service. And this one, Ed sees this, a zombie Black Panther. He's huge into the Black Panther movies, the Wakanda forever. He thought about it, but of course, nope. We went back. He's like checking out everything. I've got the giant Wolverine one. I've got the giant, the normal, and the mini. Love the Marvel zombies. But there's so many Marvel zombies, I don't want to collect all of them. It'd, it'd fill up all my shelf space. Another reason, you guys, I didn't film this, you know, right after it happened was, like I said in my um, game room towards, link up here if you guys haven't seen it, I couldn't even hardly stand the camera up, the tripod or nothing. Turbo, man. Um, Eddie had bought it. I don't think he bought it here, but somewhere we were out, he bought an extra, he bought another turtle, Turbo Man. I, I'm watching this video and I wish I would have went back and got this. But I actually spent all the money I had. Bummer. Um, that was a good purchase. I wish I would have. Them going have this um, this weekend. I should have a little bit more spending money than I did last time. So I'm hoping to find some really good toys to put on the shelves. Like I said in my game room tour, I said, I'm not into buying retro games as much. And here's Eddie. This was a family that had noticed me. And I decided, I don't know who you guys are. But hey, um, here's you guys a little shout out. 
You guys wanted a picture of Retro Mikey, here you are. They said they watch all my videos. They were kind of like, oh. So, yep. Now back to toy hunting. They were kind of following me over, a of course, a couple tables and stuff. And I'm looking at them going, what are these people look? They, they'd walk up and they'd turn and they'd look at me and look at me. Eddie thinks that that's neat. Every time we go out somewhere, somebody we, local here recognizes me. And he's like, he's like, dude, that's so cool. I was like, I've kind of gotten over it now, but you know, first couple years in doing this YouTube, it was really shocking to me. Now this, uh, I'm gonna throw some pictures up once they, cause they didn't have these completed at the time. These are Power Ranger heads on, or Power Ranger bodies with, I forget who it was. Oh, with Super Saiyan heads on the bodies. Dude, this was awesome once he set it all up. This was an awesome setup. That's why me and Ed are sitting there talking with him. He customized them and everything. It was really cool. But yeah, like I said, this toy show for $5 is not bad to get into. Just telling Ed, check out all these. He's huge into horror collectibles and stuff. He was looking at him. He's like, ah, I get, he's a little above his price range at the time. So, oh, uh, coming up right here on a bunch of stuff. This guy is another seller that's usually at um, Toy Man and here at the toy show. They're usually right back to back. Like I think they just had a Toy Man, or yeah, the Toy Man show last week, and then this week they're having the toy show. So for the vendors, it's kind of good. You don't need to put your stuff up. Here's the um, Power Ranger helmet Ed was looking at on the thumbnail. And you guys will see the thumbnail here in just a second. Ed, I, I had to cut some of this footage. He stood there for probably 10 minutes looking at this. But he said he did enjoy this con because at this con, it's only like four rows of tables, but there's a lot jammed in here. So... I know I'm viewing back and forth. There's Star Wars toys everywhere. I'm not a Star Wars collector. Um, and for those of you guys that are watching this video, I know I'm going to say this now. Tim ain't watching this video. Yet. He don't watch anything. Um, before we go to this, this Sunday, we will be giving Tim those pops. So you guys haven't checked out that video where me and Ed have done a surprise Tim with a trophy. But just a, a bunch of pops. I, I I bought 10 for him. Um, I don't know what Eddie bought. I think right now he was, he was at 11, but I know he's got more coming and he bought some more at the comic book shop. So check out that video. See what we're going to do to Tim. He has no clue that we're giving him all these pops for Christmas right before this. So if he wants to add to his collection, he can come in here and add to his collection. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is a sweet, sweet place. Uh, we were looking at all these different Deadpools, looking at all the pops. And now I, I, I get focused on what I'm looking at when I'm filming and I forget. We go around in a circle trying to figure out which aisles we want to go down. Then I walk up and I see Micro Machines and I see X-Men. And at this point, I think I even have Ed take the camera because this is stuff that's near and dear to my heart. I love my X-Men figures up here. But as much as I love them, I'm way out of wall space. I need a way to track what I got. So um, I need to hit up Coopal of Nerds and have them send me a list of everything that was available during that time frame. But, but these were out. So that I, I don't buy any extras or duplicates while I'm out. So I can kind of check things off. Because he's got a list somehow of everything out there. I know he's... The last I talked to him, he was either a couple away or he's finally got the complete collection. I'm not sure. So Fresh, you're out there, you're watching this. Hit me up with that list if you can. Sega Dreamcast. Boxed. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's called a toy show, but there are a lot of video game here. There's Pokemon cards... There's pretty much everything for the collector out there. If you're out there and you want five bucks to get in, folks, early, $2 after the first hour, 
you can't beat coming into a place like this and finding this treasure trove of stuff in just four simple rows. It took me and Eddie an hour and we looked. When me and April go to this, it's not even a half hour and we're poof out of there. And that's walking around a couple times. I told Ed, I said, it's not that big. I said, you can make a lap and then make another lap and go, ooh, what do I want? What do I want? Actually, I think I cut some of the filming and we, we did do that. I'm not sure. I've done that with April before, but I don't know if me and Ed did it. But yeah, this place, definitely something you need to keep on your radar. You're in Missouri at this time when this place is having these. Usually they have two a year. This year they're having three, which really shocked me. I want to, you know, Red Brick Collectibles, thank you guys for holding this when you guys do. Um, I need to get back down to your store, but it, it is about an hour, I think it's about hour 15, hour and 30 minutes away. Don't get down that way too often. But I'll be coming back down sometime here soon. I see something that um, I don't know what I'm looking at at this point. I don't know G.I. Joe toys very well. So looking at those going, I don't know. And then I see Transformers. Transformers. I would love to start collecting Transformers. But if I did that and I went down this that road, I would fill this room. I would take everything out of this room and just fill it with G1 Transformers. I could be happy with that. April wouldn't be too ecstatic because the G1 Transformers are really expensive. But I love my G1 Transformers. I'm curious this Sunday who's all going to be here. Um... I don't know, depending on how much stuff I still got stuff on eBay and still got stuff to put on eBay, depending on how much stuff they have this early enough in the year, I might get a booth instead of walking around. Uh, be curious. I, I'm in toy overload at this point. I know I am. I'm, I'm like, uh, I don't even know what to look at. He man oh yeah Th this guy's always at both stores i bought off him april's bought off him a couple times the guy in the behind us she bought something for our daughter for her birthday in march when we were here in march or april so yeah that video is up here too so yeah you guys can see that one now, I like the ability you guys look at the cards, see what's out there. I've already bought all those. Don't need those turtle pops. Love that super shredder, but he's wanting 40 bucks. You can go to, to, to GameStop right now. They have it on clearance for 21 and then 50% off right now. Um, I didn't get the 50% off, but I got it for 20. I was happy about that. So I, if I would have waited, I could have got it for about 10 bucks. That would have been sweet. Well, thank you, Andrew, for telling me that that was out there. You guys will see Andrew here eventually. He is at this. He's usually set up at this con and at Toy Man. And the upcoming ones that I do have, you guys won't have cards on these because they're not done yet. And they're going to be out after these. Um, I took Ed and Tim to Toy Man. And then I've also, me and Ed went to Quag Con. Tim was supposed to come. But he overslept and didn't wake up until it was almost over. So, on you. But, yeah. Um, lots of Peanuts stuff. That's what I was looking at for my dad. Um, he's a huge Peanuts um, enthusiast. He loves the Charlie Brown series. I always look for stuff here at Toy Man and Toy Show for maybe Christmas or birthday for him. But I've actually already got his Christmas done for this year. And his birthday was Halloween, so that's done past too. I've got my mom's Christmas. Now I'm looking at for get my mom her um, birthday present. And I do not know what I'm going to do. I might just do a card and money because I'll be laid off during her birthday. So money will be tight. Snake Mountain. No snake. This is one of the bad things about filming and trying to get film. You have to wait for people to clear out. Oh, I just now noticed the Captain Power up there. Ooh. I was looking at the systems here. A Sega Pico, a Box PS2. 
box dual shock i like the dual shock box if i was gonna have a box i'd have that but i'm actually getting rid of all my boxes for my systems i've noticed that people are paying money for empty boxes so i'm like okay let's let's sell the boxes i don't need them people are this hour early you are actually here why people are still trying to set up so you you are really in here it's harder to get deals sometimes but since you're not getting the deals you are getting first dips that whatever that was for the turtles i don't even know what vehicle it was but it was cool i have bought off these people before um bought some things for my buddy mondo back in april or i don't even remember when it's april or may when they had it i bought me a game or two i think i i honestly don't remember that was back in april i probably already have sold the games by now for as many games as i'm down to Then I see strategy guides. I thought they were strategy guides. They're, they're graphic novels, so those are kind of neat. Then I noticed some plushies. And I was like, ooh, this guy. He had these things marked. There was a Sonic, a Tails, and a Shadow. And he wanted like 55 bucks for all those i kind of laughed at him i was like no no i found him at kohl's when april was doing an amazon return for like five bucks a piece and then i got a five dollar off coupon you couldn't beat that up oh, up oh, there's the pk is it says pk Donatello? i don't know what John does all i know is i said something about wanting it and all of a sudden ed buys it I wish I would have bought this controller. I could have done a video off that controller. A weird Super Nintendo controller. Looking at that Zelda Wii U. It goes for a pretty penny now. Ed's looking at it. So I think we did a purchase there. And then here we do another purchase. I'm looking at stuff where Ed's buying things. I know that's what's going on because... Ed, Ed, at this point, he's just all full in and buying. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, we ain't even made it to the last row, I don't think, yet. No, because I walked to the back of this con and then walked back towards the door. We'll be coming up on Andrew here in a minute. Give him another shout out. He's always at these. He's local. I mean, I see him around here quite a bit. Friends with him on Facebook. I talk with him. So he gets a lot of his stuff the same way I used, used to get mine. I mean, he goes out and yard sells and flips, fa Facebook marketplace. Look at that signed. Signed. That is so sweet looking. Too much money for my blood, but and I'd love to add it to the collection. Lots of old school stuff, you guys. Retro is in. And here's Andrew. He's always at these things. He's with him and his daughter. Can't believe that he gets his daughter to come here and sit through these. Mine would have never done that. Yep. Uh, and I was shocked because we see him here and then we seen him a week later. And I was showing uh, Ed that um, buddy Cecil was talking about how he wanted Sonic Adventure. But he wanted 60, 40. told me to do 50. Cecil wanted it cheaper. So there's Andrew. I see him all the time. Yep, it's a wired black 360 controller. I put it down because I know Cecil was wanting some, something. I was pointing that out again. But I didn't get any, any leeway and I don't have the extra cash at the time. So I'm not buying this stuff. But the black Xbox wired 360 controller, he had a good price on I think it was like 40 bucks. I'm um I know I'm I really need to work on my camera skills when I'm talking to people, but Sonic 2, I think he had 150 on that. I cannot believe that game's shot up that much. It's not even that good of a game. And this is the last table, a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Me and Ed are looking. I think I've already spent every bit of money I have. Ed, he goes back and buys a few things, but we are pretty much at the end of the con. I'm looking at the time here. It says I got two minutes left. 
So yeah, like I said, this is the last table. There's some Transformers there. I need to tell Mondo about this. Because it's a cheap little con. Not even sure. Looks like Legos and model kits. Some Monopoly. I got a Monopoly gamer I need to put online sealed. And that's the end of the video. We're going to do our pickups now. So, have fun. All right, man, we dug through there. We found what we found. Got what we're going to get. I'm going to show you my pickups first, and Eddie's going to show you his. First off, I know you guys seen the video. Got me a cool Sonic. And April, this little tiny yellow Yoshi, because she loves Yoshi so much. Picked up Metalhead. Didn't realize I didn't have Metalhead, but great to add him to the collection. He's part of the original set, so that'd be nice. And mainly everything else I picked up is in my X-Men collection. I picked up Mr. Sinister, the giant size figurine. And then I picked up three that I didn't have. Uh, Strife. Ahab. And Black Tom. That's about all I picked up here. So let's check out and see what Eddie got. All right. Like how I was like, oh man. Oh yeah, you silly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Eddie picked up the only Funko Pop that can kick your ass, Chuck Norris. I tell you, well, I didn't even know Chuck had one, but he definitely deserved it. This right here, a gift for Mike for introducing me all to this. All right, place. man. He picks up Donatello and he's giving it to me. Thank you, Eddie. That is such a wonderful gift. Now I gotta start collecting the rest of them. Another rabbit hole to go down. I'm a huge fan of horror, so I had to pick up Pennywise. Just uh, wouldn't be right. That is an awesome Pennywise. I love the yellow in it. Yeah, that one's cool. And then I picked up Raph to complete my collection because I actually already got the other three and I have the chase figure of this, so I needed the regular Raph. So now my Funko Pop collection is now complete. At least that, with this turtle line. And turn that around real quick. And now I've got four more to find. Right. <laughs> I'll get them soon. <laughs> then he picked up this awesome, awesome custom car. Oh, boy. Power Rangers is near and dear to my heart. So, I saw this one. I was like, this would go real good with my Red Ranger display that I'm currently creating. Show the top of it. There you go. That, that thing's awesome. Yeah. And then, the last item I picked up was a 118th scale Ford Gran Torino. Skarsky and Hutch. That cast. So, big fan. Probably should get this to my mom. She's probably a bigger fan of the show, but I'm the car collector, so. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. Today was a good day. Good. All right, guys. See whatever adventures we find. We're also going to stop today at St. Louis Comics, but that video will not be out for probably another month or two. So, hope everybody's enjoying themselves, and I'll catch you in the next video.